Hi guys, I'm there. You know, some people are still having issues wearing masks. A lot of their complaints about wearing a mask is that it makes their breath stink. Their breath stinks either way. Brush your teeth, guys. Yesterday, I saw a man walking across the street while reading a Bible. No mask. I can only assume he was praying to not get COVID. I hope you guys have already early voted or plan to vote by Tuesday, November 3rd. You millennials don't know how easy you have it. When I started voting, we only had one day to vote. One day. One day. I had to go back twice to vote this year. I'm not taking any chances my candidate doesn't win. No, I'm kidding. Look at the line the first time I went. Anyway, it's cold outside. It's time for chili. I use Melissa Clark's recipe from the New York Times for my chili, but she says to use beef or pork, and I use ground turkey. She also says to use green pepper, but not to be racist or anything, I don't do green peppers. I used a red. It's really easy to make this. I do everything right in the pressure cooker. From sauteing my... What? Oh. Pardon my French. I brown my vegetables and my turkey. Well, you know what? You'll just see. First, I prep all my ingredients. Make sure you use gloves when you cut your jalapeno or else it'll rub your eyes later on and be in lots of pain. I chop one onion, one red pepper, one jalapeno, five garlic cloves, tablespoon of tomato paste, two tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground oregano, and two teaspoons of salt. I have a can of kidney beans, a can of pinto beans, and a can of diced tomatoes. I heat two tablespoons of olive oil in the pressure cooker and I put it on saute and I add my ground turkey. I kind of just chop it up and then I leave it alone for seven minutes. I take it out with a slotted spoon, put it on a plate, and I put a teaspoon of salt on it. I add my chopped onion, my chopped red pepper, my jalapeno, my cloves of garlic, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I cook that for about five minutes. Then I stir in my chili powder, my tomato paste. I cook that for one more minute. Then I add my turkey back in. I add my oregano, my tomatoes, my two cans of beans, one pinto, one kidney, both drained and rinsed. And I add another half a teaspoon of salt, and then I put the pressure on high for eight minutes. It probably takes around 10 minutes to bring up to pressure. And then after it's done cooking, I let the pressure release naturally. So maybe the whole thing takes about a half an hour. It's really f***ing delicious. I'm using a fork here, but just know I'm going to eat this with a full baguette. It's even better the second day. It's really hot. It's super tasty. It's really good. Once my baguette is gone, I'm through with the chili. My husband wouldn't mind eating this with rice or cornbread. But to me, it's a baguette delivery system.
The hardest thing about this recipe is remembering to have all the ingredients on hand. I often forget I don't have an onion uh, or a jalapeno. Uh, I don't have the jar of diced tomatoes. Uh, Calgon, take me away. That does it! Calgon, take me away! Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. Brush your teeth for. Thank